Okay, we want to do another QND, quick and dirty, um, video for the Service Manager Control Panel. And what we want to do here is take a look at the new order editing that's been um, implemented in the Control Panel. Um, all of the order processing, managing happens here in SM Manage Orders. So we let's take a look inside there. You'll see on the screen here we can create orders, we can edit orders. We can edit change orders, field information, we can cancel and uncancel orders, print work orders, view order information. This is a kind of a central focal point for working with orders. Um, if we want to create an order or a quote, we would put a customer number in here, click create order or click create quote. Um, but what we're going to do right now is just to get an overview of ordering, in this video we're going to put a quote, an order number in and edit that order. So I've put an order number in, I'm going to click Edit Order. And that brings me to the first of the four screens that we use to edit orders. This is the order header screen. Um, you'll see at the top we've got the regular link for going back to the menu and some others. We've got a link here to view the order. It's got the order number, the order date, the customer number, and any customer comments. These are the comments that are in the in accounts receivable. Um, and this is similar to the old service manager order header screen where it has order information, bill to, ship to, uh, additional information here, the note fields at the bottom, um, and at the top and the bottom are navigation buttons. So we've got a button to go to the details and a button to go to the discount screen and then some other command buttons here that we'll take a look at in more detail in a minute. Um, but the second screen, now you notice that all the buttons have a, a red letter on them. That's for a shortcut key. <clears throat> if you, instead of clicking the details button, if I hold the alt key down and press D, I'll get the detail, I'll, it's the same as clicking the button. So let's take a look now at the details list. These are all the items on the order. So I'm going to do alt D. And what I've got here is a list of all the items on the order with some, um, with some summarized information. There's a lot I can do from this screen, um, but really it's for seeing totals, for seeing tax, for seeing uh, change order information, invoice information, and so on. That's what this screen is for. We'll, <clears throat> we'll take a look at it in a little more depth in a couple minutes. Um, now, the, other, the third screen that's involved in editing orders is pretty straightforward. That's the discount screen. We'll take a look at that right now. Um, this is simply the total screen from the old service manager. We can put our discount description, percentage, and invoice and discount amount on this screen. Um, nothing really new here. I'm going to go back to the details and I'm going to show you the, the fourth screen that's involved in editing orders and that is the actual edit order detail screen. Um, now the way I get to that is I pick a line on the order. I'm just going to pick line number one here and I'll click on that link to line number one. What that does is brings me to this green screen which is where the actual editing of each detail happens. Um, and this has all the information on the detail on this screen. Same general layout. We've got um, navigation buttons here to go to the header and to the details and to the discount screen. The other three screens. And then some buttons for saving and these are really shortcuts for saving in different ways to make um, billing quicker and to make entering orders quicker and those kinds of things. So they're the four main screens in our overview. We're going to take a look at each screen individually in a little bit more depth in the next videos.